the biggest cheer i think coming from this announcement will be from the indycar public relations office thank goodness we don't have to deal hopefully have to deal with any of the nonsense that we've had to deal with uh last season and we obviously had the big fallout after detroit back at the beginning of june with the terrible chair stuff uh on the rate on the track side it is a shot i would say this it's a shame for canapino because he's shown some pace at the end of last year and the beginning of this year and you thought oh you know a bit like mclaughlin when he came mm. it was taking some time he's got to get used to the tracks and the car and the series and learning english in his case as well and you were like hey oh, he's kind of getting there he's, you know there's some flashes and, and such like and just to the way this season has gone on it's just fallen a little bit further away you would have thought him having roman grosjean as a teammate this year would have you know given him another push push up the standings and a bit more speed and and that kind of thing but it just hasn't really worked i think all that off-track discussion you know stuff that's been going on has been a massive distraction for him um and matthew owens good evening to you uh mr owens he says thank goodness they've gotten rid of him and his fans i'm sure they'll be uh on the uh indycar twitter sphere over the next little while uh reacting to this news if they're not already um and we'll have to see what uh comes when indycar's back on track which is um uh, next weekend isn't it uh at gateway so interesting to see if Connor Daly does get that um seat as you mentioned josh obviously with using that car and that team at that track he would obviously be the um the obvious choice and this is another uh, leaders circle discussion which we talked a little bit about at the back end of last season it seems to be more and more of a of a thing in the indycar championship over the la last couple of years so um we'll have to wait and see how this rumbles going forward but uh, you can bet your 50 cents that uh, indycar's discussions with uh circuit termas uh, rio termas hondo is probably going to come to an end now and we won't see an indycar race in argentina be a points race or a non-championship one going forward yeah, with Augustine Canapino coming to the IndyCar Series, it started off as a really good story. Back home in Argentina, Canapino is considered to be a living legend of motorsports, especially, you know, with his racing in Argentinian touring cars. And he was he's won so many championships and so many races in that series. It's just incredible. It's just incredible what he's been able to do in Argentina. And I was I was impressed with what he was able to do last season in IndyCar, you know, considering the fact that he has zero open wheel racing experience, nothing like this back home in Argentina could have prepared him for the demands of being an IndyCar driver. And I thought he did reasonably well in his rookie season to try to, you know, get used to this style of racing and how these IndyCars handle. And going into year two, I think a lot of people thought we were going to see a lot more from Augustine Canapino. And to be fair, like you said, Josh, Can Canapino started off the year like he was showing some improvement, you know, showing more speed in practice and qualifying and showing some showing some speed in the race as well. But like you said, the results just were not there. And, and, you know, of course, we've already talked about the off the track drama on, on social, on social media. Remember, you remember the situation with, with, with Callum Mylot, and then I believe with, with tail poor share as well. And then, you know, it just, it just snowballed over, over time. And then he, and then he wasn't, he, well, he didn't, he didn't respond in a way that a lot of people thought he would about the online abuse. And it really left many feeling disappointment. And he got so caught up in the in the social media stuff that Hunko's Hollinger Racing decided to sit him out for Road America because they said his head just wasn't in the game and they had Nolan Siegel come in fill in and Canapino returned after that and it just didn't get much better than that the the results weren't there and that number seven eight just continued to slide slide and slide down in the standings and and the leader circle you mentioned Josh that is very important because that bonus that that bonus is extremely important to these teams and they want to get that extra cash at the end of the year, and, they, and teams will do whatever it takes to get inside that top 22. And and given Marshall Poor's support of Connor Daly, testing the car with with the Hunkos Hologen race in a gateway, it would not be a surprise to see them announce Daly and the driver of that car, especially since the back end of the IndyCar schedule is very oval heavy. And given Connor Daly's you know past success in ovals and how well he runs on those tracks, it would not be a surprise to see Daly close out the season or at least run all the ovals you know you got Gate gateway to milwaukee mile and then nashville at the end of the season and, and if daily can could deliver or whoever's in this car could deliver for the team they could potentially get the number 78 back in that top 22 so they can get the leader circle bonus at the at the end of the year so 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 given all the struggles you know on the track off the track and 
and it was already rumored, you know, that Canapino would not be returning in 2025 because that specific car is struggling right now for funding. So they're going to need a driver are going to bring funding or find a sponsor who's going to bring additional funding to that team. And, and the co-owner of this team, Ricardo Juncos, Canapino's fellow countryman, wanted to bring him to the States, give him a chance to race in the IndyCar series. Unfortunately, like you said, this story has, has come to an end. started off as a really good story, and then it had, you know, some unfortunate moments. That happened in between and then it just ended with a whole bunch of struggles i think given everything that's happened it probably was the it was probably the best decision for them to move on from canapino and i'll be interested to see what canapino does next wonder if he'll go back and race you know in the touring cars in argentina where i'm sure he can contend for a lot more race wins and win championships down there and continue his historic career down in south america yes and i found that tweet because I wanted to see what replies there were. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if it'll come from the screen, they've locked the replies. Oh, is that on they, the IndyCar announcement oh, tweet, is it? No, that's on Yunkos. Yunkos on the racing. Oh, okay, on Yunkos. They've locked oh, okay. the replies, so yeah. you can't <laughs> That's very telling, isn't it, that they had to lock the yeah. replies. However, my favourite tweet, if you're tweet of the week, uh, firing yeah. Canapino the same day Vips gets announced... Always two there are, no more, no less. The Star Wars uh, one. I think that's my tweet of the week. So, yeah, if, if uh, there was always two there are, I can guess who the second one is. I think we can all have a guess who the second one is. It's not Canapino. It's, it's another one on the, on the grid, too. We all wonder how he has a seat. Uh, Matthew says they definitely uh, can't go to Argentina and how it'll turn into the Copa America final. Uh, yeah, and uh, let me tell you something as well. It doesn't, it doesn't bode well, does it? Because I, I don't. One thing I don't want is for another social media storm to kick off. With not. No. yeah, with anyone targeting any, just everybody, because that's not what it is. It, it I, it, I, it's a miracle they've managed to get it since Red America, and even see, you know from Detroit because Red America's the next one. It's a miracle they've managed to get him here. That was what four or five races ago now. So yeah, mm. uh, I was surprised by that. That's that's a big one, but uh, yeah, just the, the the always two they are. That that made me chuckle. 